Hello, this is the uh, review for the Tin Hi-Fi T4. I did an unboxing a while back. Um, I spent a bunch of time uh, listening to this device or these listening to these headphones. Um, so they look like you guys can watch the unboxing video. I've got some really good close-ups in there. So these are these are on eBay right now, and I, I'm selling these. Um, several things about them, and I'll, I'll go over that. The first thing is, let's, let's cover the first thing. So on eBay, I'm including the very nice cable that I bought along with it, the update cable, right? I'm including that. Um, and the reason I'm including it is because this cable is garbage. So this cable is pretty. It has pretty connectors and shiny and blah 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 but it's got this rubber coating that catches on everything which I can't stand and I noticed that on the left side if that's the left side it might be this one that when I turned my head the sound was cutting in and out I'm like what the heck is that so I I held the earphone in against my my ear and I touched the wire and it would cut in and out. So that means the connector has got some kind of a funky connection in it, right? Um, and I put this cable on and that was completely gone. So I know it's the cable. So I contacted Linsole and and because uh, that's who I bought it from, obviously. Um, contacted Linsole and told them that. And within a few weeks, they sent me this cable. So that was cool. They didn't even question nothing. I just, my message was, Hey, just got the T4s and the cable on the left side is cutting in and out. And I got an email back and they said, uh, no problem, we'll send you out a cable right away. And, you know, within a few weeks I got it. So so that was really cool. I, I like dealing with them. You know, some I've dealt with some other Chinese companies that because, you know, American culture is different, obviously, and business culture is different, that sometimes it's kind of hard to deal with them on a support issue. Um, but Linsoul has really stepped up, uh, in, in my opinion, and and un, in trying to understand the American market. And I feel like every time I bought something from them, it, I've, I've had a couple of little issues here and there, and right away they've taken care of it. So I'm very happy to deal with them. But again, um, I, I have to say the truth about this device because, uh, I mean, that's what you guys want, right? Um, so I buy all my own stuff. I, I don't get anything free from anybody. And, and I don't just buy anything. I, I look around, I, I, read, I listen to reviews just like you guys, I read reviews, and I say, okay, this looks like a pretty cool product, and I really like the last one, so let's check this one out, and I'll go ahead and order it. And if I don't like it, I just I don't try to return it and get my money back. Um, I just sell it on eBay, right? Because I kind of feel like that's a little dishonest, too, to, to buy something knowing you're going to return it and just use it for a review. I, I, I don't like doing that. So um, if I buy something review it. I either like it a lot and keep it, put it in my collection of of my uh, earphones, which my wife is now telling me that I'm an earphone hoarder and I have a problem. <laughs> and maybe I do, I don't know. But uh, if, I, if I don't like it, then I just put it on eBay and sell it. And sometimes I get my money back and sometimes I take a little loss, but that's okay. Um, these are going on eBay. Cable, number one reason, or no, I'm sorry. Cable was the first issue, right? The second thing was in listening to these, you know, there were some songs I listened to. And, and I'll tell you guys that I was reviewing or going through listening the Shozy Form 1.1 and this at the same time. So, like, I was reaching for one or the other when I was listening to music, right? And I listened to music various times throughout the day. I don't have a dedicated, you know, four-hour window every day. It doesn't work like that. I've got a full-time day job. I've got a, a family. I've got kids. So I listen to music early in the morning before anyone else is up. I listen to it at night when everyone else has gone to bed. And, you know, I just kind of sit around with the, when the lights are down and, and listen to some music for about an hour or two. Um, maybe throughout the day when I'm sitting at my desk working, but I'm not really focused. I'm kind of just listening to music. But either way, I, I try to live with anything I get for like a month at least to try and figure out, you know, what's going on with it. And I, I tried a lot of different tips, a lot of different tips. I mean, I've got like, I mean, so I've got tips, tips, 
tips. I, I've got a lot of tips, a lot of different styles, a lot of different types, because I want to find out what's best. And I don't just use any old junk. I mean, like, I, I, I got spiral dots that I bought, right? JVC spiral dots. I've got, I've got the uh, um, spin fits, different various versions, a lot of different foam versions. I try to get what's considered to be decent stuff, as well as like you know whatever comes with the IEMs. And uh, I try a lot of different ones because I found that. Some IEMs, it doesn't really matter what tip you put on. They all they sound pretty good, or they sound the way they're going to sound. And other IEMs have are very affected on their sound based on the tip that you use. So these ones I found to be in the middle, where I could affect them. Well, let me say it this way. So I have another set of IEMs, and... When I first put them on, they didn't really have a lot of bass, but the treble was really good. So, you know, that, and that's common with lower end IEMs. You get kind of a very thin bass, mid bass, and it makes it feel unrealistic. It makes it feel hollow, the music, right? Uh, especially if you know what it's supposed to sound like and you've listened to it on high end gear and you, and you know, right? Or even if you've heard it live. So with those particular ones, I changed the tip to one that sealed better in my ear and suddenly I had so much bass it was almost overwhelming and I had to actually change the tip again to try and tone that down a little bit and and so the tip made a huge difference in the quality of, of what was being put out of that IEM. With these, didn't matter what I used, I could not get good bass. So the same thing as the tin Hi, the high five the T1s, the T2, the T3, and now the T4. The T1s were great. I, I, I had the T2s, I sold those. I never bought the T3s. Because the T2s were a lot like the T1s, except more sibilant. The T1s had a, had a I, I guess you call it sibilant, a lot of trouble, you know, high frequency, actually like was painful in my ear sometimes, right, with some songs. And like no bass. But they were very accurate. So I kept those, and I, and I actually modified those in a way to get more bass. And I'll go through that in another video. But um, I kept those, but I just keep them at work. So I keep them in my, my bag, my, uh, my backpack with my laptop. And I use them for meetings and things when I'm listening to stuff at work. I, I don't use them for any like, critical music listening, right? Um, but I was hoping these, because these, you know, there's a lot of hype on these. And there was some graphing going on and that kind of stuff. And... People were saying, are they as good as the blondes? Are they comparable to the blonde and all that kind of stuff? Um, and I, from, for my money, the blonde is way better. Uh, I, I felt like these, there were some songs that these sounded fantastic on. And I did a chart where I gave numbers to, to uh, detail, treble, mid-range, bass, stage, right? And I, I gave each one of them a number and I had a number of songs that I use regularly. And I have a wide variety of music that I listen to. I, I listen to rock, old school rock. I listen to jazz. Um, I listen to some modern music. Billie Eilish, Ella or Billie Eilish, however you say it. I, I like her music. Um, I like Lady Gaga, some of her stuff, because she has a, a really good voice. Um, I like uh, uh, Amy Winehouse is one of my favorites. So, but... Um, that said, a lot of the music, I, I listened to a, a wide variety of music. So I, I gave them a score on each song that I've picked from those various artists, right? Um, and a lot of the music I listened to, I've heard the performers live in, in, in concert. And so I know how they wanted the song to sound kind of because I heard it being played live. Not, and not on every one of them, of course, but on, on most of them. And so I have an idea, right? And, you know, audio memory is not that great. But still, I had a, a, a feeling, a, a way that I remembered it when I heard it. So I, I kind of used that as a guide as well. Um, these very faithful reproduction of sound waves, I guess you could say, right? It sounds, you know, you can hear everything in there. The detail on these always scored high, 7 or 8 on my, on my scale of 1 to 10. Um, detail was there. I could hear everything separation or what people call separation um that was good and and separation is an ambiguous term i hear a lot of a lot of reviewers using it i don't know if it always means the same thing to everybody so for me separation means when 
when the guitarist, the lead guitarist, the rhythm guitarist, the bass guitarist, the drummer, the keyboard, the guy smacking the tambourines, when they're all going together at the same time in a hard hitting piece of music, separation means I can hear each one of those instruments. It just doesn't sound like a muddled sound, right? Like if you listen to old paper speakers in a car, right? You guys probably, some of you probably may remember this, or if you're young, maybe you're driving in your dad's car and you, and you kind of have a cheap stereo with paper cone speakers and certain songs, it was just a sound. You didn't hear the instruments. You just heard like, right? So you didn't hear the, inst the difference in all the instruments. And so with good quality speakers and, you know, amplifiers and DACs and, and, and whatnot that are delivering that uh, sound the or delivering that signal, that's where the separation comes in. So I tested these, I should say this, I tested these with my file F11, <laughs> my file M11 Pro and my computer with um, FUBAR and an IUN uh, XS1. Uh, and also with my home stereo even, I have a, a, a mid-range Marantz uh, component system and I have um, a two amp and some other things in there. And so I listened to a lot of different stuff to try and make sure that it wasn't a source that was causing me a problem. And what I found was, you know, that they were thin on the bass for sure. On some songs, the mid-range was very thin and didn't feel realistic to me. Uh, the treble was good. On almost everything, the treble was good. And I should, by good, I mean uh, cymbals sounded correct. Higher note piano keys sounded correct. Um, guitar picking sounded good. Um, on songs I listened to with a lot of guitar, these these did really well. On some jazz songs with, uh, well, Diana Krall and some of the songs I listened to from her sounded really good. They didn't have the, the mid-bass that lower end of her voice, that that musky kind of deepness that some jazz singers have, I couldn't hear that with her on these the way I can with other earphones. So, um, that said, uh, I I decided these are not something I can recommend, and and here's and here's why I can't recommend them. Um, I'm looking here right now on the website, and the price came down a little. It was one hundred and nine dollars. You can get it on Amazon right now for $99. It's on sale. They've, they've uh, cut it down to, um, from 109 to 99 At least for me. It says there's some coupon. I don't know if that's because of my account. Uh, I don't think it is. I think that's in general. I went on eBay and they're selling this new on eBay for $99 as well. Now the one that I was comparing this to is the Shozy Form 1.1. And right now that's selling for $74.99 on Linsol. So how can I justify this at $109 when that shows the form 1.1 in my money is better. It's just as good and it, except that it has, it, it has the same kind of detail in the highs or maybe not quite as good as this does, but it has far superior bass and mid bass, right? It's just way better. And, and I don't know if that's just the, the failure of very small IEMs. I'm starting to wonder because I notice whenever I test out something that's tiny like this, I just don't get that same sound. I just it can't develop the same um, bass and mid bass as a, a larger IEM can, and and that could be just my misunderstanding of the technology. But it kind of just seems that every small IEM I test, it just doesn't cut it. You know, I wanted them to be to. to to be perfect i wanted to really like these because i mean these things are beautiful and when you got them connected to that cable i just showed you i mean it's like i was i was someplace under at work and i pulled them out and because of the fluores uh, fluorescent lighting i mean they freaking glimmered like jewelry right and i was like i was almost a little embarrassed like people are going to make fun of me for this thing like i'm wearing some kind of weird jewelry or something you know but i mean they're really beautiful and it's a really nice case and i i wanted to like them but i just you know, someone else may love these things, but for me, they were just, they don't, they don't deliver on their price, right? Compared to what's out there. If we're going back five, six years, these things would be like untouchable at that price. But technology has moved forward like it usually does. And there's better stuff to be had for a far less, far lower price. So 
these are nice. I'm not. I, I don't want you to get me wrong. Some people might think these are the freaking end game, right? The detail was fantastic. Certain songs, I could find myself smiling when I was listening to them, just like because they sounded good, right? Jazz songs is where I found that a lot. Trumpet, it it reproduced trumpet really well and clarinet really well. Um, and so, but what? But when I had these, so what I did is I had the showsies and I had these. I had these in this case and the showsies in their case. And I kind of kept them on my desk, on my nightstand, wherever I was going so I could grab them and pull them. And what I found is that when I heard a song or, or I was thinking there's a song I want to listen to and I'm like, oh, I like that song. I haven't listened to it in a while. Let me put it on. I would grab the showsies. I wouldn't grab these. And it was just, you know, subconscious. I wasn't thinking about it. I was just, those are what I grabbed because, and I find myself kind of listen, sitting there smiling, listening to it going, wow, this is, this is great. And then I'm like, hey, these are the showsies, you know, I, I guess I like these better, right? And so... I can't really wreck these because of the price versus performance. But, you know, if you like this the sound signature of these, I, I mean, these, they're definitely a nice a nice item, okay? Beautiful case, well-designed, come with a nice set of tips. Cable is crapola, let's be honest. You're going to need to swap out the cable. Um, but other than that, uh, um, it's just a price-performance thing. I, I can't recommend these, all right? So... That's my review, and I will post my chart of, of numbers that I gave all the songs while I was listening to this as well um, in the review. And then I've got a, another review coming for the Shozy, the Form 1.1 soon. But uh, again, these were some songs, excellent. Guitar, certain jazz songs, excellent. Songs with bass, songs with mid-bass, certain vocal songs didn't sound good with these. And the tips, um, these tips were actually the ones that worked the best. I tried it a lot of different ones. These are the ones that worked the best. The ones that come with it, to be honest with you. So they must have tested it there and said, yeah, these are the best tips. Let's just stick those on there. Because these are the tips that it had on when I, when I opened it up. Um, okay, well, that's the review, guys. I, I hope it helped you in some way. Thanks.